you're wondering if you should play tug of war with your staffy and that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Other than being a fun way to burn off some extra energy, tug of war has a lot going for it and most staffies enjoy playing it. A game of tug of war can strengthen the link between a staffy and its owner and between two docks. It's a favourite pastime for staffies and they love nothing more than playing games with their human family. When you're doing something that you and your staffy enjoy, it will strengthen your relationship. This game promotes solid interpersonal relationships and provides a wealth of reinforcement opportunities. So what is tug of war? Two teams compete against each other where each team pulls on the opposite end of a rope to bring the rope a certain distance in one direction, despite the rival team's efforts to stop them. If you substitute one team with your staffy and the other team with you or another dog, in a nutshell, that's tug of war. Now, you might be wondering, is it bad to play tug of war with your dog? Most staffies can play tug of war without any issues. However, there are some occasions when you should avoid the game. One, your staffy has already displayed aggression related to dominance against people. Playing tug of war with these staffies is dangerous since it can exacerbate current difficulties. Taking part in the game could put the person at risk of being bitten. So consult with your veterinarian or a behavioral expert if your dog has displayed aggressiveness toward you or another person. Two, dental problems. Tug of war isn't a bright idea if your staffy's teeth are loose or they have sore gums. In addition, take care not to tug too hard in any case because it can damage your dog's teeth. Three, avoid playing this game with puppies. You should avoid this game because pups' teeth, mouths, and jaws are still developing. Excessive tugging may lead to difficulties with the jaws or the bite. Four, joint and other bone issues. Tug of war isn't a good idea for a staffy with arthritis because it might aggravate the condition and make it worse. It is also possible that dogs with a history of intervertebral disc problems may be particularly vulnerable to injury during pulling activities. One common question is, does tug of war cause aggression in dogs? If your staffy is already aggressive, playing tug of war can exacerbate those tendencies. On the other hand, if your staffy is fun-loving and loves to play, they'll simply enjoy the activity and burn off some energy. Okay, let's move on to the rules you need to establish before you begin tug of war with your staffy. One, you choose when to play. Don't play tug of war with your dog if they bring their favorite toy and drop it in your lap or on your feet. Picking up the toy and starting to play signals to your dog that they command the situation. This action reinforces your dog's belief that aggressive or dominant behavior results in their desired outcome. Two, no touching. You end the game if your staffy's mouth contacts any part of your body, including your hand, arm, leg, or even your clothing. Initially, it's probably an accident, but it could become more severe if you don't stop undesirable behavior early and often. Three, teach, drop it. The sooner you can teach your staffy the command drop it, the better. Tell your staffy to drop it during your first few tug of war games and wait for him to let go of the toy. Keep your hold on the toy but let your arm go limp if they refuse. Most dogs are pretty reluctant to stop playing. Wait until the dog drops the toy while you act as though the game is over. Wait until your staffy lets go entirely before starting the game again. As a last resort, you can either walk away or remove the toy from their possession for the day if they're being very stubborn. So, you've played tug of war with your staffy and you may notice that they shake their head. Most specialists feel this is a behavioral instinct passed down from dogs' ancestors, the wolves. In the wild, that's how animals catch their prey. They take the creature in their mouth and shake it violently from side to side until it died. Another question is, should I let my dog win tug of war? When you let your dog win a game of tug of war, you're not allowing them to dominate you. Instead, you're cultivating a strong connection and demonstrating to your staffy that playing games with you are a pleasurable experience. So you're probably now wondering which tug of war toys are great for your staffy. We highly recommend these two. We'll leave links in the description below. Now let's take a look at other ways to entertain your staffy. Playing for the sake of playing is vital for a dog's well-being, but you may also use play as a beneficial training tool. Agility trainers know this very well, and they frequently carry a bag full of tug toys to keep their dogs fully interested. Trainers might even use tug leashes. While staffies are having fun, you have the opportunity to work on their obedience training. You might think this is a bit of a downer for the dog, but it enhances the experience in reality. It's astonishing how much more mentally stimulating it is to include a layer of challenge and supervision in your staffy's play. 
To top it off, it gives your staffie a chance for more human interaction, something they can't get enough of. So, what games do staffies like to play? Staffies have a lot of muscles, so playing tug of war, chasing a ball, or fetching a heavy toy will give them plenty of exercise. Staffies love to play with a whole range of toys, from toys that the dog needs to catch, such as frisbees, tug of war toys, and several chew toys. However, you need to bear in mind that staffies are powerful chewers, so choosing toys that don't fall to pieces immediately they get their teeth into them is incredibly important. For more information on the best toys for staffies and everything else staffy related, head to staffydog.com and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.